मंगल मंगले शिवे सर्वात साधिके शरणे त्रयंबिके गौरी नारायणे नमस्तुते जय जय गणपति जय गणपति जय गणेश जय गणपति जय 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 गणपति जय गणपति जय गणेश जय गणपति जय 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 गणपति जय गणपति जय गणेश जय गणपति जय जय गणपति बेग वे दाश रहे 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 जय जय गणपति जय गणपति जय गणेश जय गणपति जय 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 गणपति जय गणपति जय गणेश जय गणपति जय 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 गणपति जय गणपति जय गणेश जय गणपति जय 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 गणपति जय गणपति जय गणेश जय गणपति जय जय लंबोदर पीतंबर सो है हरे मन मुख तनायर नत नादे लंबोदर पीतंबर सो है हरे मन मुख तनायर नत नादे गज मन माल गले ब्रिज सो है गज मन माल गले ब्रिज सो है बाल लाल में चंद्र काल में गणपति बेघ वेरा शरहारे गणपति बेघ वेरा शरहारे जय जय गणपति जय गणपति जय गणेश जय गणपति जय 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 गणपति जय गणपति जय गणेश जय गणपति जय जय मोदक लेत देख जल ले जब तुम कचलक नो पुर जन कारी मोदक लेत देख जल ले जब तुम कचलक नो पुर जन कारी रिधि सीधी दा चाह दुलावत रिधि सीधी दा चाह दुलावत सुरस मोहन भी गोर सुखारे गणपति भेग वे दाश रहे गणपति भेग वे दाश रहे जय जय गणपति जय गणपति जय गणेश जय गणपति जय जय
Sit down, everybody. Let's all stand as we begin this evening with Arti. Close your eyes. And just for a little bit, we're going to settle our mind before the drum starts to beat and we get going. In your heart, please talk to God. The purpose of this yagna for the blessing of all those that were taking part and attended and so on to learn about Lord Shiva and his prayer 
his forms, his history, with a direct focus on Shivratri, the Lingam. Last night we, deal, we dealt with a very, very secretive discourse. Many people did not know of that discourse. And tonight we're going to hear where it continues from Shiv Puran. Lord Shiva, thank you for the time. Thank you for allowing me to have this time. The health for the elders here. Dear Lord, by your grace we are together. And we are about to do your worship one last night. Dear God, if you could provide me with this opportunity, bless me further now to accept the little tidbits, morsels of knowledge. For those of you looking on at home, in Trinidad, abroad, wherever you might be, use this opportunity sitting in your living room, watching on your phone, wherever you might be, to pray to Lord Shiva as well. Don't wait for the day you are in Kurta and Shalwar or you're fasting only or you are in the prayer room only. Problems don't have a place. They don't come. Therefore, we are training ourselves that prayer could be done wherever I am, whatever I am doing. But that takes practice. I must train my mind to do that so that the day calamity, destruction, trouble comes. Regardless of what condition I might be in, I can think about my God. This is why we come together for these types of training sessions. Lord Shiva, this is my objective tonight. This is why I've come. In addition, maybe the young children heard my grandmother is celebrating her birthday as well. And maybe Baba, young children came for cake too, in all fairness. So you'd have cake. Tonight, with our family and our ashram family, those of you, Sankhya, Facebook, we celebrate Lord Shiva for the blessing of somebody we all love in the ashram here. She's always there smiling and helping. Tonight, my grandmother is celebrating 80 years. 80 years. And we'll talk about that further. Lord Shiva, thank you for the people that surround us. And as we get to wave this divine light, please bless those that need that help. People that need your protection and guidance. Guidance, please hear our prayer tonight. Sajam cha varti sanyuktam grahina yojitam mayam Deepam Grehana Devesham Trilokya Timidapaham Jai Shiva Hum Kada Hara Shiva Hum Kada Jai Shiva Hum Kada Hara Shiva Hum Kada Come on everybody Jai Shiva Hum Kada Hare Shiva Okay. 
Ganesh Baba. Om Gajananam. Everybody. Devotees, please have your seat. Make yourself comfortable. We did the discourse where it explains the falling of the private part, the sexual organ of Lord Shiva, to go towards forming the lingam. And for many people, it was an eye-opening discourse, in all fairness. And I accept that. My mother told me, I, I have no, Rupchan, I have no fear in saying this. Mommy tell me, do not read that discourse. <laughs> do not go and talk about the womb. But, in all fairness, if we continue like that, then the truths of our religion would be lost. Then there would be half-truths, and people would not know the reason why things are the way they are. Why the offerings, for example, last night we learned, why is that, let's say the big lota over the lingam, why does that constantly trip on the lingam? What is the necessity? What is the purpose of that? 
We talked about why the Nandi is opposite him, sitting, blowing on the lingam to keep him cool. Because there was a moment he was overheating, as it were. Sometimes when we sit together, people hear different things, new things, new tidbits of their worship. And believe it or not, this is why we have Yagya. A good friend of mine, Dr. Rennie Ramneris, he always critiques whenever you go to give a discourse or you go to talk. Very, very. He's a, he's a believer in God, but he's very stern when it comes to pundits. Because he believes pundits should give more, more information and teach more. So he says, I like how you speak because you, you, you talk it out. But think like this. If a guru, if a teacher, if a, if a pundit is just a teacher, in a fancy word, then the teacher in the school is governed by a curriculum. The teacher in the school has a point. There must be a cut off time when this person's training must reach them to a certain amount of knowledge or to a certain height. Instead, what we have is a person like my grandmother age or somebody younger than that. And I never knew that, Baba. I never heard these things before. I'm now learning about offering Shivratri and fasting for Shivratri and these things. So the intention of Yagnas like this, and for those of you looking on at home, is to give you a training course. These courses that may not be the same thing you hear over and over and over again, but expose you to the relevant knowledge that you need so that when you go to do the worship, you'll be able, better prepared to do what you have to do. Principal Omapati Mahadeva Ki Jai. Throughout this country, there is Shiv Ratri celebration like never before. Nearly every temple has some form of activity. But still, no matter how many pundits we have, how many TV programs, radio programs, be fear. Sometimes you come across Hindus that are still lacking basic information and knowledge about their own dharma. If a person from a different religion came up to me and says, Baba, I saw you all do something in the puja. You are this way when you are doing the lingam. Why did you do that, brother? I come from a different faith. I don't have no bearing in your faith. But I want to understand. I want to learn. Do you know how many Hindu people would say, well, the pundit tell me to do it so. The now tell me to do it so, but I cannot tell you what it means for myself. But I am the Hindu. So tonight, yes, we are going to talk about Shivratri. I said that last night. But learn tonight how to do the Shivratri. And why take the effort to join together as a group? Last night we talked about how to do the mudra where you are bowing with, the, with your hand like this on the horns of Nandi. We talked about how not to walk around the lingam in a full circle, but do it half circle and why? So little bit by little bit, we are preparing you now for your Shiva on his night. We enter into our discourse, and I'm reading from chapter 38 of the Koti Rudra Samhita of Shivpuran. Before we go forward, please clasp your hands as we do Shivpuran Sumran. For those people, as we were talking earlier, that have certain type of anguish, pain, People who suffer from things like neuropathy, sitaram, arthritis, different bodily pains. Sometimes the doctor is hunting and the poor doctor, he cannot find the ailment. He cannot say, okay, take this tablet and your problems are gone. Say a prayer for yourself, don't pray for nobody else. Please close your eyes, bow your heads in prayer. We all have issues at home. Lord Shiva, we come tonight to do your worship. Please accept our offering. Gauri Shankar Padakamala Prema Sahita Hiyale Vimad Shambhu Puranya Ke Basha Racha Kushubam Shruti Sambeda Nadi Shiva Sachiranan Nirguna Brahma Vilaka Yayami 
We enter in a section where question has been asked, yes, about Shivratri. This is preceding the discourse that you will all hear on Shivratri night with the hunter up in the tree and the hunter shoots. He wants to shoot a deer and because of his efforts, he gains blessings. But there's more to it because that discourse only gives you the benefit. If I do it, I could get blessings like that guy. But it does not tell you what to do. Tonight for the blessing of all, Lord Vishnu is sitting at the feet of Lord Shiva and he's saying, could you tell me if a person wants to worship you, if a person wants to gain the reward of your prayer, how to do it, when to do it, and what is the benefit? Let's join together as Lord Shiva smilingly gives him the answer to his question. Jai Bhole Baba Tab Sharnam 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 Jai Samba Sada Shiva Tab Sharnam Bhakti Mukti Dhyan Labhayetam Bhaktaye Bratave Shivratri Vyasa Namasu Yeyatam Yesati Sati Yeyatam Jaya Bhole Baba Tab Sharanam He says, Oh Vishnu, it is my pleasure to give you this knowledge. Many people will benefit from this type of discourse. This type of question is really potent. And when people hear of our conversation, they will gain knowledge. Make you a little secret. One day Pandit Sunil went to do prayers. Tell me if you ever hear this one. And the person says, well, how is it? On a Wednesday, we are doing Lord Shiva Puja. On a Saturday, I'm doing Lord Shiva Puja. On a, you name the day. Once it's now Monday, it's odd. He says, 
depending on what is going on in the patra, meaning the moon, the phase of the moon, a person's best advice, a best guidance, worship me on the eighth day after the moon, the Ashtami day. That is a day, fast whole day and after the sunset, then break your fast. Do, you, do my puja on that day, O Vishnu, and you will gain the blessing. If the person does worship for Lord Shiva on the Ekadasi day, on the dark half of the fortnight, Ekadasi means 11 days after the new moon, in this case where we're talking about the dark fortnight. And the person who is praying for different type of trouble, poverty, look at how many people losing their job. Baba, I need help. My job is in limbo. That same Lord Shiva could help you if done at the right time. Then he says, if the person worships me on the triodasi or the 13th day after, in this case now, the full moon, and the person prays for health, that person will get the help. And at a minimum, if none of these auspicious stars or nakshatra or moments are there, then at least on a Monday, a person could worship me. So if I'm just pointing out this to somebody, just be in mind. Some people say I could only worship Lord Shiva on a Monday. Hanuman Jayanti will fall on any day. Diwali will fall on any day of the week. What is there is the phase in the moon. That is what makes the difference. And you will hear why we choose certain days for Shivratri. He sends in this month of Mag, on this 14th day, in this dark night, this is the night selected for Shivratri. And it is not limited to the Mondays alone. So he says, if you use all these various options, a person can execute the vrat of Lord Shiva. And you will hear, O oh Vishnu, the type of blessing that a person could get. Let's join together. As he wants to know, what do you do when you are fasting, when you are doing the vrat for Lord Shiva? What does that entail? And of all the things, because he says, I know there are some people who do a lot of job. Some people in the car have Rudrakshmala. Some people fast without drinking water, nil jal brat. Hindus do that. Yes, of course, some people fast without food. He says, tell me now, what is the best way to make you happy? That is the question now. Let's hear what Lord Shiva says. Shiva Shiva Ratri Bambola Shiva Shiva Ratri Bambola Aye Shiva Ratri Bambola Aye Shiva Ratri Bambola Shiva Ratri Bambola Shiva Shiva Ratri Bambola Aye Shiva Ratri Patrayati Shivaratri Brata Hariyatam Tapaswa Deva Kurvate Bhakta Mukti Yena Palayatam Evam Yena Brata Yeti Nana Nripati Hariyatam Iti Te Brata Tu Varshyatam Dharma Madhya Ye Ati Mama Ye Shiva Shiva Rupa Yati Nipati Tat Pada Ye Ati Sri Rai Bhava Kal Ye Atam Shiva Shiva Ratri Bhambola Shiva Shiva Ratri Bhambola Aye Shiva Ratri Bhambola Aye Shiva Ratri Bhambola Uma Maheshwara 
He says, of all the vrat, Shivratri is the greatest vrat that an individual can do to please me. On that night, let them adore me in different ways. Recite recitation of different mantras. Jap. Japping is when you sit and you use whether the marks in your finger or using the middle finger. Ex exclude the index finger, holding your Rudraksh mala. Follow the rules of that Jap mala. I am reciting mantra. He says, the person who offers to the lingam, the person who fasts, waiting in the mandir of Shiva or in a mandir or temple where a lingam is kept, that person, that person is worshipping me. It is not only about the physical dar. Those things are just one portion of what is called Shivratri. If a person should follow the rigor of this sacrifice, they gain all forms of happiness, health, joy, peace. Remember the other night we were talking about peace of mind and shanti. For the person who has to do stress test today, for the person who is stressed out today, let's be fair, things are not nice right now in the country. People are worried about their next dollar. People are worried about health. People are worried about their their, their family and friends abroad due to health. And I use the analogy of this little towel that represents your peace of mind, your shanti, your happiness. And you hold this and every day, the traffic, the boss, the job, the spouse, everybody's taking, everybody's taking, but nobody's putting back peace. You feel happy when you come home, you see the kids, everybody's alive, they reach home safe. And then we have to cook lunch, we have to cook dinner, we have to get this, we have to get that. And your brain keeps going. But when a person is doing prayers, notice, at, at, for a simple example, at the end of our prayer tonight, Om Shanti, Om Shanti, Om Shanti. Please let there be peace, let there be peace, let there be peace. And people take that for granted until the day comes. You don't have that peace or peace of mind or that ability to relax. Imagine somebody in this day and age where whether the businessman, the person who is working or the lady who is walking the road and you are afraid, when will the next bandit come? Think about the person who has been affected by crime, sleeping on their bed and they are wondering when they hit bang by the door. Okay, they're coming. I'm afraid. I'm living in fear. Think about that type of person. He says the person who has this type of problem, peace of mind, that person could gain that. Because when nobody, if you go through something horrific like a car accident or something traumatic or you lose somebody, I could say what? Don't worry, that was in a better place. Don't worry, that accident passed. Look, you live. That will never take away the pain and the fright, the anxiety, the short breath that you may be suffering from. You and you alone know what you are going through. When you are diagnosed, as my good friend Renny would say, Renny Ramirez, is he's a gastroenterologist. He says, when you have to come and tell somebody, listen, you have stage three cancer. And you have, tonight I have a young doctor with me. And you have to face these people and see it in their eyes that you are going to die. But you are not dead yet. You have to stand there and do that. It takes a different type of stomach to do it. But imagine you now on the receiving end of this type of news. And you have to absorb that and smile. Yes, yes, doc, I'm good. Yes, wife, I'm not crying secretly because I'm thinking about death. And all these type of thoughts are soaking in your brain. 
When you look at what you go through on a day-to-day -day basis, it's amazing you pull out all your hair. Truthfully. God and God alone knows how you do it. And this is why. And this is why we continue to pray. Although things are good. A good friend of mine, he's a dean in Barco, seven years. He says, when things are good, Om Namah Shivaya. And when things are not good, Om Namah Shivaya. Because as Gita says, in joy and sorrow, sorrow could come so quickly. And you flip through happiness and joy. You think you're happy, you're going good. But you don't see what is coming around the corner, unfortunately. Principal Mahapati Mahadeva ki Jai. He says, Oh Vishnu, of all the vrat that exists, and this is something that we don't take, we take for granted. Every ashram, last time we talked about ashram, young people, celibate people, hermit people, sannyasi, etc., regardless the age or where you are, anybody could do Shivratri. A person who has a desire, a person who does not have a desire, women folk, children, everybody could benefit from Shivratri. Sitaram. Somebody will say, Baba, why in this day and age of equal rights? Why, why did you just say women folk? Terence, you'll be shocked to know that there is a tradition, tradition, not religious text, right? I'm going to be very clear. That many temples in South Trinidad follow. Ganesh Utsav is coming. Only boys, only men could do the puja for Ganesh Baba. Till today. Women cannot go close to the baby. Women cannot offer the prasad. And I'm saying it on the television so people can talk about it, right? It is true. I'm not calling the temple's name. I'm not calling nobody's name. But it exists. And this, on the other hand, is something that is open to everybody. For people that believe in the caste system and look down on other people because of their surname, everybody is welcome in front of that linga. There's no barrier. There's no thing where only pundit could do it or only old people. There are certain prayers. What is he talking about? When people reach that age and they're tying Tulsi Mala or they have given up, they've entered a life of celibacy and they've given up all the attachments. Only certain people and those brackets could do certain type of prayers. When those type of prayers have to do, a pundit like myself, married and young, can't do it. You have to get senior pundit who has achieved that type of mala to do those type of prayer. But in this case, there's no limit to who could do Shivratri. The Vrat is the best, it is the most beneficial to a person. And when done on the right moon, that person who does this, what is the first thing they have to do? He says, give up laziness. Don't gripe, don't groan, don't moan. If God gives you the opportunity to worship him, do what you can. Doesn't say kill yourself. I'd like to stick in here. If you're diabetic, if you are hypertensive, and the pressure is dropping low. Like my grandmother today, God, Ole Anona. Ole Anu. We have she here tonight, but you ain't know how much time we're doing prayers. And from she normal complexion, white like sweet rice and her. And just drop down when she fasting from salt. So then the, then the question comes, and I'm saying this for a reason, I'm using my own family as an example. People is ask, you talk about fasting so much, but suppose my body cannot make it. Suppose my heart, my blood pressure, whatever it is, cannot make it. Is it that I am not going to do the prayer? And the book says, no. The food, the salt, or whatever you're using, now becomes medicine for the upliftment and upkeep of your body. So what you do is, just to use an example, if my belly fulls with a full roti, on a day like today, for people who need to eat, just cut it in half. Eat less, but eat nonetheless. No pundit, no temple wants to see somebody faint, or fall down, or die. Because things do happen. Please be guided. Don't kill yourself. Lord Shiva never said that. Get up early in the morning, bathe, have your bath, and it is time to start Shivratri. Where does Shivratri start? The morning, not in the night when you're in the temple or wherever you are. Let's do this verse for everybody to understand. Jai Bhole Baba Tava Sharnam 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 Jai Samba Sadashiva Tava Sharnam Jai 
देवा देवा महादेवा नील कंदनम सुते आसम पुरुमेश देव शिवराति व्रत तव शिव ये प्रोत ये आहति जय भोले बाबा तव शरणा तव शरण संकल्प स्थापन पूजन समृत ये स्थापन चैवा लिंग प्राश्चित ये आत वैरात्रि ये तट पर जय भोले बाबा तव शरण उमापति महादेव की जय मेनी पीपल विल कंप्लीट नॉट ऑन शिव एक्चुअली आई कुड मेक इट दिस ईयर आई वाज वेरी इल आई वाज वीक रानी चान गेन यंग बॉय दी यंग पीपल समटाइम्स क्या मेक इट देन आई डिफरेंट एग्जांपल यू गेट टायर्ड स्लीपी Sometimes you go in where you have to go to do prayer, accident, trouble, car shut down, something to impede your intention. So the first step in any vrat, always remember this: you have to ask permission to do it. Any prayer, any pilgrimage, anything that you wish to do must first start with permission. So let's say it's the morning of Shivratri, right hand over left hand, curl back your index finger like how you receive as a mudra. It looks like this. How you're supposed to receive panchamrit? This particular mudra, whenever you ingest something, it helps your body. The belief is to absorb the nutrition from it and benefit your body. This is why you receive it with the panchamrit. Holding this way, water in your hand, maybe a tulsi leaf or till or something small to purify the water. Stand facing east, looking at the sun as it is coming up on the horizon. Sir Narayan Swami, Lord Shiva. and that verse we were reading is just a prayer imagine just for simplicity we say om namah shivaya om namah shivaya lord shiva today i wish to do your worship please give me the ability and permission to do so i am going this place that place wherever you going give me the help don't let me fall you know me to god i just trip i just stumble i just get giddy i just want to faint things this happen bless me while we driving on the road to reach in time reach it safe etc don't let anything stop me don't let anything hold me back whether it is me or something happened to the car or the family member sometimes you got it you know, and i jumped by the wrong person and now you in a different mode crisis mode now i can't pray anymore these things happen to test you to break your resolve and who is the person that's in you in hinduism there is no devil It's not God and somebody else. Everything comes from that same God. We saw that in the first night when the the, the pundit was praying for his son. You pray and you pray and you pray and you pray, and that same Lord Shiva will come to test you. That same God says, "You feel, you feel, you are devoted to me." Let me see what you can do if things go a little. The day you want the sun to shine, that the day rain going to fall. The day you want current to last. Boom, current cut, and as the satsang finish, current come back. Test. The person, the Hindu who is learning about God, they have a different temperament, and you recognize these people. The ability to forgive, not only puja. What is puja? Suppose I do puja and I don't have the right character. Doesn't that count for something? His devotee is the person who could forgive. I'm just listening one or two, and the person who has patience. This is from somebody who is fighting to have patience. The self-edo game wrong. We are all fighting to achieve God. 
But what patience and prayers mean, sometimes people say, I'm on front, no. And I expect God to turn that silver column to red, no. I said my prayers, God, performance. But the person who learns in life lessons, sometimes, what do they say? God is sure, but he's slow. And you learn how to pray and then wait. And when you see the test happen to come, you'll see somebody smile and say, you know what, don't take that one. Don't let that jib your brain. Hold to your feet. Hold to your prayers. Wait, this can pass. This too shall pass. We run out of how one word? Don't worry, we'll get something. We'll work out. Don't worry, leave it to Lord Shiva. And don't panic. These things are part of your prayer. Because suppose I went to do prayer and I was a monster by that baby. Would it, be, would it yield the same? Would it bring the same reward? I don't think so. He says, if the person on this night prepares to do the sacrifice the proper way, where the lingam is sitting in the lap of mother, waiting for the offerings that will come from you, talk to Lord Shiva and ask him, to remove all enemies internal external the anger the greed the passion as married people as big people as young people today that are distracted by cell phones videos and other media that could put your mind in a different temperament from satric thoughts to be quite honest this is where you say dear god don't let me and the wife have a little tussle today let me just be cool bless the house to be calm and bless we to be satric. Satric meaning husband one side, wife one side. And hold to that even in my mind. Let me fast properly. The person who does this, that person is ready now, now to do Shivratri. And what, what happens in Shivratri, plenty of people say, we talked about why we offer the milk and those other ingredients last night. The functionality of it to keep him cool, simple as that. When I offer to the God, in Gita it does say, offer me a leaf, a flower, etc. And I will bless you once it is done with devotion. So some people want the best milk. They want to get the cow milk, not the packed milk. That's good. They want to get the dattu flowers. Good, very good. Wonderful. But then we also have to look at you. Just to put it in context. Imagine I did go and I get the best milk, the best ghee. I'm not buying the vegetable ghee now. No, Baba. I never ring a, uh, uh, um, for those who don't know how to make it, I never ring a lettuce and get ghee. Somebody told me that once. I want cow's ghee for my worship, for my prayer, and that's fine. But suppose I am now getting, getting the material to offer. This is my lota. But I did not wash my lota in 10 years. My lota is green, grimy. And I'm offering it from this. Would it yield the same benefit? I don't think so. Suppose you are the person offering now. And you are connected to the offering. And you never change. You never grow. You never better. You never learn to forgive. You never learn to love. You never learn to, to pray. Plenty of people will be like machine. And they're just offering the point. They say to try, I try. But may I talk to God yet? You have not changed. Would it matter how much milk and how much ghee you put there? I don't know. I don't think it makes sense. He says the person who does offer the right things in the right way, that person with that type of attitude, with that type of um, intention, that person is going to get great amount of blessing. What is the five sacrifice that he's referring here? He says five. What are the five things that we do for Shivratri? Many people, as I said, they focus on the dar. I went to temple to offer milk, dahi, ghee, what again? Honey, and what is the last one? I just forget. Cane juice, cane juice, five liquids. When we can't get cane juice, some people just put sugar, but it's really cane juice. But that's the part we know. What else it have? He says, Shivratri consists of five things. And we'll hear it as the Pahar go here. He says, let the person sing for me. Let the person abstain, fast. Let the person, yes, make the offering that we just talked about. Let the person fast from sleep. And let the person sacrifice doing job. That is the five things that consist of Shivratri. So somebody said to me once, Baba, you know, all due respect, everybody. You know, as a lady, I became... 
unclean, as it were. My monthly scale. Does that mean I can't do Shivratri? Let me go again, eh? I could be how you want. I could, I could fast from sleep right here. I could still say my prayers and job. I could sit on the couch, maybe not in the prayer room or in the temple if you, if you don't want to do that. But I could still do my job. I could still sing for the Lord. They have a bar across the road and some of the best drunk men that have sing the sweetest when they get the daru. Maybe I can't do the offering, but I could abstain from soul. So four out of five could still be done. I want to clarify that people use all type of excuse to say, you know what, I am not doing no prayer. So and so die, I can't do no prayers. I could still weep for Lord Shiva, it is an integral part. And you as a person need to identify that weakness inside of you. Stop making excuses. Do you think problems, troubles, sickness, accident, anything will take an excuse? My dear policeman, who you live to see it every day, does a bandit stand with a gun ready to rob you and say, you know what, I'll give you a chance. Next time for sure. I'm coming back to you next week Monday to rob you. Don't worry, wait for me. It don't work like that. Things happen and then you wonder, whoa, shucks, I could have done this. Or I should have done this different. My child going here, why maybe if I'd done this different, it would be different. When the opportunity comes, you do it and you do it right. Don't limit yourself. Principal Omapati Mahadeva Ki Jai. Let's join as he starts to talk about now the night and the pahar. You will hear me say the word pahar for the person that doesn't know what that means. Pahar is just like if I say minute, hour, second. It is a check of time that lasts for three hours. That is all that would mean. And he's now going to give us what happens on Shivratri night. What is the person supposed to do? Nama Shivaya Om Nama Shivaya Nama Shivaya Om Nama Shivaya Om Nama Shivaya Nama Shivaya Nagendra Hadaya Trilochanaya Bashmandara Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Namah Shivaya Gita Vraddha Ye Nirpyatam Bhakta Ye Baba Sanghit Yayate Pujan Parampara Ye Krita Mantra Japa Dukha Ye Pahar Ye Namaha Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Namah Shivaya in the first pahar, in the first three hours from 6 p.m., you line up and you start to bathe him with all the ingredients that we talked about so far. But when that is done, go and sit and do jap using mantras, for example, Om Namah Shivaya. Different type of mantras that by repetition, re repeating it, whispering, mental prayer, out aloud, a person gains different type of blessing. When that is done, in that first pahar, sit and just for a little bit, sing for him. Allow him the opportunity to listen to your music. Give him that type of devotion. Sing for God and allow him to bless you for that type of sacrifice. The person who does these types of offering now has completed that first pahar and is preparing for the second pahar. Let's go everybody. Let's listen for what happens in the second pahar and the blessings that come. Mahadevya Brata Pujanaye Pahar 
प्रतिपल साधु मत प्रत्यायते प्रथये आतिथाया यम दूज्य नाथाय नम शिवाय नम शिवाय ओ second for her let them chant the names of lord shiva so you see people taking bay leaf maybe rasanath on the lingam someshwara jata dara all in the names of lord shiva some people put it in the fire left to you depending on what you have if i'm sitting home and there's no lingam if i'm in an apartment and all i can do is a little havan use what you have don't make an excuse if the lingam is small it's not big like that guy whatever you have or fight him chant the name alone i don't have belief there are people that live in temperate countries and winter and the snow is killing all the belief if they be belief if they could even get it do they stop worshiping lord shiva mari baba will hear my prayer and i will still try to do the best i can with what is growing around me let the person do something called rudri when that rudri which is basically rudram which is the correct name is passages like how we have the chalisa chanting and the person is holding like if i hold this and i i, I press it something is coming imagine the opposite way and milk is flowing constantly on the lingam you will see it here in the mandir on on that night other pundits will come to do it and we will all get a bail lord shiva for after that in that pahar let there be dancing merriment and chanting of lord shiva name on that night we will have dancing and offerings to lord shiva when this type of worship is done in that second pahar the person who has skin problem bone problem different type of mental problem genetic problem family problem these people will start to see change in their life believe it somebody would want to make fun it i made a statement that if somebody has lupus a miracle could happen and the person could live from my own experience i'm saying it's obvious so the person says that is not possible diabetes lupus certain things just don't have a cure do you believe that i believe that sometimes doctors give up on people and they get to pray and pray move mountain that is what i believe i don't know your opinion but from experience with people when you have that faith in your god regardless of what name you call him if you start off believing that there's no sense in prayer what are you praying for what are you doing it for if that prayer is only limited to help me to cough and cold but it can't help me live through cancer and radiation it cannot help me when i have problem with my children or my marriage then why are you praying it's not working that is like taking a tablet for your toe but i have a pain in my head namah shivaya om namah shivaya come on everybody help me say we are about to stop this part namah shivaya om namah shivaya Shivaya namah shivaya Om namah shivaya namah shivaya Karta jagatra pratiye mahotsav sarye yahi sanghitaye yah Snana punya tatraye tatham pujanna hau maye atita Namah shivaya om what is the major difference here long ago when people did not understand prayer they did not know the inners and the inner part of shivratri people used to wake at 12 o'clock and say ratri means night the night of shiva so when the night comes i stop i stop because at 1 minute after 12 is am 
now they understand Ratri has more and more explanation is coming out. Ratri also means time. So we are going for the full length from sunset more or less to sunrise. The person, their body gets stale. Imagine you're chapping, you're doing howan, you start to sweat, your body becomes different. You're human. You could have all the air condition. Trust me, your mouth needs to be refreshed. And sometimes as a pundit, I get in trouble, believe it. Please, 12 o'clock come, let's have a shower. Uh-uh, who -uh. wouldn't do that? Please, go for it, the baby. Go for it, the baby. Bathing is not a bad thing. Easiest thing to do. Your body is now still. In preparation for food, I pray. Just rinse yourself. A shower, brush teeth, whatever. So that you will be better prepared for Lordship. That's all. The person goes and they have bath. And the person now rejuvenated, wakes up too. Because remember, you're sleepy, you're tired. Is now going to offer different types of citrus dar. For people who say you can't offer those things that are a little acidic. Please remember what is growing, what is in season that could be offered. These things that have a lot of vitamin C, these things that have a lot of potassium that pretend prevent people from fainting. Baba, we are talking about potassium. Do you know why you offer fig in prayer? That fig keeps the bird chirping and he's happy because of the potassium inside of it. It has value and you're giving it, dear God, please accept this right fig that is filled with potassium. Just as it can help my body, I'm giving this gift to you. Please keep me up. Don't let me faint. Don't let me get sick. For those people that have to travel and this coronavirus is a trick. You do the right prayers and that man is Tremba Keshwar. He's the man if death is coming knocking at your door. He will have to take that threshold and run that death. It is possible. But the right, the right way, the right ingredient. He says in that third Bahar, the person who is fighting sickness, let them come and offer citrus type juice and bathe my lingam and they will get that support. Different type of stotras, never do shivratri without proper mantras, without at least Om Namah Shivaya as you are offering. This is where now you have to get down and learn your mantras. I don't know the big long ones, Baba, that's fine. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Samba Sada Shivaya, Om Nila Kandaya, Om Chandra Shekaraya Namah, Om Trembakam, that one. Simple things, but grow, grow as a person. And when you go to offer, that's between you and him. Forget the pundit, forget all the other people, and just focus on your prayer. Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Namah Shivaya Yagva Shwaru Payaja Tadaya Come on Devaya Devaya Shivaya, Namah Shivaya. Offer in that last for all the Padarat. You know we have a minister, Padarat. That name has a meaning. Padarat means the ingredient. That sacred, secret ingredient that makes the difference in everything. You could make the best cake. And this is the mistake that many people make in devotion. I'll use it as an analogy. Imagine Keshava is cooking wonderful. I get the best pyrex dish, kitchen aid, equipment, everything. Wonderful garb. I'm looking like the guy from Mario's Pizza. I'm dressed to the max. Best kitchen. Making the cake, turning it. My Aunt Vina here, I remember for Christmas long time, we mixing cake on the floor. But when I put the cake in the oven, I put it, and when I take it out, I taste it and I vex because it is sweet. The main padara, the main ingredient, the sugar, I didn't put on. I didn't put it, I dressed the part. 
I look in the Bible, but I never put faith in my prayer. Don't expect the cake to taste sweet. Don't expect to get what you're looking for. The main ingredient is null and void. And you can take that sugar after that cake make and dance it on top, brother. It will never get in. It is too late. The time passed. So when you're making that offering, when you're in the moment and it's you on your board, and you get the opportunity to let go, don't study, oh God, Auntie Dolly watching me. I can't sing tonight. I can't, I can't clap tonight. What will Auntie Dolly say? <laughs> what will this person say? If that is what you come for, see the weakness in you. It is time for you to grow and grow up. When you come to pray, pray. Because when you're going through your trouble, brother Auntie Dolly can't come and help you that time. I could wish you well. I could do your what? But that sugar can't get into you anymore. It's too late. Let's go, everybody. Yummy, yummy, yata ye full ya food, jan ye bhakta vira hari ye shiva. Shiva, shiva, ratri ye sheshatam. Kathayami ye parnatyataya. Namashivaya hom, namashivaya. Shivaya, Namah Shivaya. Oh, Namah Shivaya, Namah Shivaya. Oh, Namah Shivaya, Namah Shivaya. Don't worry. You, we could do it. We can get through this. In the last part, sing my praises, read my discourse. That person. When he's chanted or she's chanted, let them call the different names of Lord Shiva. You know many of them, Pashupati, Lingeshwara, Sarash, Shiva, etc. Yuan Jaksar Mantra causes sometimes a little confusion because people say the five syllable mantra, but Baba, Om Na Ma Shi Ba Ya is six. That is from Bhajan mm -hmm. You see, just like when we were chanting, just now you hear Na Ma Shi Ba Ya Om Na Gen Prahara Ya Trilochana Na Ma Shi Ba Ya. The Om is one mantra, Prana. So the Pancha Akshara, the five is Na Ma Shi Ba Ya. That is the five. Use mantras like that in the correct way. Put on clean clothes, full clothes, be comfortable. There is no way, no way, it says you must wear shimmery clothes or shining clothes, nothing like that. <coughs> Simple clothes, comfortable clothes is perfect. But when you are doing the job, and please listen to this one, when you are doing the job, as you go from one pahar to the next pahar, you have to double your job. So the first pahar I did one Om Namah Shivaya and the second one I'll do two. As I progress, let the person do more. So I'll go from one to two, from two to four, from four to eight, etc. Let the person offer different type of articles that will yield different blessings. For example, we spoke about cornmeal. If a person in their dar puts barley seeds, um, whole wheat flour, etc., and bathes the lingam with this health problems external, body, skin, like psoriasis, internal, as simple as cholesterol. You're asking Lord Shiva for assistance. In prayer, how you give is so you get. So I'm giving particular choice items that will yield the blessing I'm looking for. You see, the problem we do or we make is that my problems are changing, but I'm using the same mantra and the same procedure to fix everything. So imagine somebody says, I have heart pain, diabetes, I have this, that, and the other. Children problem, wife problems, etc. But I'm taking one paracetamol. And that paracetamol has to fix every problem under the sun. I don't think that might work too good. In every religion, it might have a different kasira, a different psalm, a different passage, stotra, a different form of worship, a different ingredient for different problems. That's what. 
When the person with this type of knowledge approaches me on that night with that type of offering, they gain what they are praying for. Things like pomegranate and other ingredients could be used and when done properly, the person gains the blessings and the benefit of the shivratri. Continuing like this now, Lord Vishnu says, okay, so tell me, I understand everything you want for the four power, I understand we've discussed the flowers, we discussed at different times the bale. Remember the bale that you offer, sometimes people neglect to prepare your leaves properly. There's a section that talks about the power of the bay leaf. Do you know that there is rule, there is a rule for offering the bay leaf? The bay leaf consists of three sprouts, three parts, as you will know. But when you offer substandard offerings, when you don't fast properly, when you don't prepare properly, then the outcome that you are hoping to get, sometimes you don't do it, you don't get it. And this is where many people say, well, no, I went to Shivratri, but I'm not seeing help. The children still failing on the exam. For example, but bear in mind, how you do is so you get. So suppose, suppose, Omkarami made parsa this evening. Watch how simple things are. And when I turned around, Omkar said, I like mango. But you never know I eat a mouth like mango. But I go to offer it in the prayer. And I'm saying it this way for children to catch it. I'm offering Jupta. Let me say some standard parsa. You and I wouldn't want to offer something that has been tainted in prayer. But I'm offering something substandard. What will I get in, in return? <coughs> wow. <laughs> substandard, you know, blessing. Not what you're looking for. Okay, so the last part. He says, I understand everything you want from me. I understand what, how the leaves are, how the flowers is, how the prasad is, everything, I, I get that. I understand the fasting, I understand the day, what to do. How do you close it down? And in order to close your breath, before you don't just go and bubble food. You don't just go and break your fast. After doing this amount of rigor, this amount of sacrifice, this is a, a very popular mistake that many people make. You go now and it is time to do the final hawan, closing mantra, a little RT. Yes, we know that part, Baba. Good. When you're done, you have to share something to eat. You must feed somebody. And this is where, when we get together as a group, this is the benefit. If it's a piece of your, let me say your apple or your grapes or whatever you have, please have something from me to you, from my house to your house. But it's right now we make things like Zabgatakari. By a chow, cheese base, different things, and believe it, everything is done. It. And it goes on the doubles. Now, the first time we did this, somebody said, oh, you mad? Now we're hearing it have all kind of doubles for $14, gourmet doubles, and everything. On ground, no, it's selling right away, the library in San Fernando. And people run it down. So at least the white doubles is just really something that I know everybody would appreciate. What is the sense is share something and nobody likes it. So I always try to share something that is nice, something that you would like, something that may make you talk with last night. Dumpling with cheese. But I get you to think about it. From my experience, watch me, my belly bigger than all of it. <laughs> we pray by that baby, dear God, bless me with help, bless me with help, bless me with help. And then 9, 10 o'clock in the night, we eating all the carbs and fats that you can imagine. And the point they're getting thinner, they're fat. But diabetes is rampant in our race. Our people, as much as you know, Indian people, they like to hide the fact that they have sugar, pressure, heart, whatever, whatever. Until they reach by the doctor, and the doctor will say, oh, and next one. And next person. So sometimes, what we try to do in the ashram is just a little more slightly prasad and something different. It isn't perfect, it, but it's not roti. And that is just a change in quality. And every time you go to prayers, it's that. On this morning, when these types of food and other things will be shared, it is to end your fast and to share. Feed somebody. Take the doubles from the man and say, Tanti, here, look something, please eat. With that, then Shivratri is done. When you stay home, at home, which is good, but you don't feed anybody. Imagine when we bless cars as Hindus and you are going to give charity, give charity to children, feed children, and then that car is blessed. Then it is complete. 
There is a way to do everything. And unfortunately, people don't know this portion of the right. Prem Subhanahu Mahadeva Ki Jai. After this, the person places a little of water in your hand and they ask the rising sun, please, I've completed my work. The resurgence or the lifting of the kalsa, all those things are done by the baby. And it is now time for me to eat. Well, this is before we eat the food. Eh? Allow me to break my fast, please. Allow me to end my fast and then you receive prasad, the doubles, and other things before moving off to go where you, ever, you have to go. Prem Subhanahu Mahadeva Mahadeva Ki before we conclude, before we continue, tonight, as I said, is my birthday. I don't know, I would, I would say my, right? Um, my is eight years today. Let's give her a clap, please. And her children are here somewhere. Everybody's somewhere. And we want to know cut out the cake and all the other share the cake and ice cream and all these things. So share this moment with you. But there's somebody sitting here tonight that I used to hear stories about. And I grew up with my grandmother and my grandfather. And as a child, I always liked to hear gossip and stories from long times. So tonight, I want to remember when Big Tam, he was alive as my big sister. And she says, hey, you see that grandfather of yours, you see that Lala, he's only come in the shop to buy hats. But it was an ulterior motive. There was a girl in that shop and he came to see that girl. And I used to hear these stories and I, oh God, and Ma used to say, Lala, we're telling the children. <laughs> Growing up, that, that was the love. That was, that, was, that was what, you know, he used to live for. Stories. Today, my grandmother is 80 years old, and you see them two people who started singing here just now? Them two children who started born here? She is still caring and showing how to care for them. She is very active. Wherever we go in cinema, wherever we land in, she's always there. And I wanted, together with the family, to just highlight this lady because of who she is and what she does for so many people. Let me be fair, but you know I tell my grandmother, because she's a person, she don't like to be liked. And don't, maybe that might not cut here. She she don't want the, you know, for everybody to know. She tell me, in fact, let me cut the cake before the program. Right? <laughs> and I told her, Ma, to be honest, hear me. You see tonight, you're dealing with me and you're clapping and you're bless me. Better put him all around your neck tonight. Because sometimes you wait too long. And you have, you're putting my line up. But you're too late. Everybody on the summer just is there. They want to talk about them then. <laughs> That's a fact. So please, and have somebody sitting here that imagine you're 80 years old and you can still bow by the feet. My grandmother, big brother, is here and his wife. That Auntie Dolly is somebody. Since I small, this lady. I don't know what Auntie Dolly is doing, I guess it's on Graham, I don't know. But this lady is still bubbly and laughing. And... God bless you, Auntie Dolly. That's all I would say. <laughs> when we were small, Ma had an adoration for her brother Ram, Ram Kisun. She used to kind of lift the Kisun but And I remember laughing at you right there. Ram Kisun, Kisun. <laughs> you could not say a word. You could not question. Ma, so how come you love your brother them so much? And she has sisters too. But don't, don't say that. You can't come between she and she brother. She says, before my wedding, she'd have a chest of draw. She, she still have it. And we used to go and rock and fight and that was clean and calm and mash up the thing. Somehow it survived. And of everything, Nothing I could say, nothing exists from my wedding except for that gift that this brother gave. She said one day Uncle Ram came and gave her her first watch. And I am talking, I mean I know my grandmother at her age and she remembered and she held on to that memory. Now, Uncle Ram is somebody. Ram, Uncle Ram has a tailor from San Fernando. Many people would know. A stalwart in his own right in business and other fields. Tonight is my pleasure to ask him to just congratulate, give you a blessing.
There's a couple of words, please. And he's somebody again who doesn't like the lights. You see the light at the back. Pandeji, uh, members of the Kirtan group, ladies and gentlemen, sorry I can't see your faces, <laughs> but uh, I just want to take this opportunity on behalf, my, on behalf of my wife, my family, and on behalf of the entire Mohes family to extend to our last sister, Patti. A very happy birthday. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. And may the Lord show out his countenance upon you and give you peace. Um, but I did say something. I already had to go back about 75 years. You see, we came from a very large family, consisting of five sisters and three brothers. Our father, was a shopkeeper and he died at an early age. There was a virus going around. They got it a typhoid fever and unfortunately he got that and he passed away. And we were eight children. My brother was the eldest. He was now getting into the forestry department and he was a forestry ranger. And he had the greatest job and take over a shop. Uh, he was only 20 years old, so all of us was underneath that. Uh, and we grew up in the business, all of us had to, we were working children. We had to see our animals, see our shop, get ready to go to school, come back in the evening, help out with the shop, see our the, the goat and cow and thing. So, we, by, by working, we really learn a lot. And um, as, as time goes by, he married two of his sisters. They, well, one thing I want to congratulate all my sisters. They did very well. They were faithful to their husband. They had beautiful children. I see some of them here today. And they still, I want to thank you for keeping the family together that still have seen all uh, nephews and nieces still coming around and that is very nice. Yeah, so uh, in those days we, we, there were not many supermarkets so the village shop was a big thing. So we were pretty busy in, in the shop. Patty uh, was the youngest child, and she, we, we, we called she was, she was the girl with the curls. She always liked the curls cool, of the hair. So as we get older, and I moved over to San Fernando, and started a little business, um, a smaller brother came on afterwards. So Patty and Doris, we said, my sister and one brother in the shop. Uh, and the day where um, Lala was working with Cavani Limited. And Lala is a pass with a bicycle. Lala is my grandfather by Yeah, Lala is a Bishak and Shiva. I remember an incident. Uh, I was told on me, well, the shop was divided into two parts. One section was the dry goods section. And next side was the bar. So um, Nala came into the shop with the pretense that they come to buy something. Two dinner and a coke. Uh, and uh, Doris is my sister, other sister. Tell Patty, um, uh, look here at my come in here where I'm going to him. <laughs> so, uh, so Patty went there, so. Uh, Lala wanted to make a conversation though. Patty usually wear curls. But this day, she had no curls, she had no plaques. <laughs> so, um, Lala said, well, um, uh, uh, you're looking very nice in those curls. <laughs> 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 I 
So uh, at this point, the friend, at this point, the friend in the, in the adjoining bar, said, so, boy, boy, I'm well up in the room. That is not cool, boy, that is flat. <laughs> so, um, my, Lala Fidel can bar us, jump on the bike, and go up the road. So when Patty came back with the change, he said, oh, where the guy? So, um, the father in the bar said, um, don't worry, you'll come back tomorrow because you had to collect the chain. So you have an excuse to come back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, as time goes by, um, you know, Lara uh, wanted to uh, think so, he, he met a, a neighbor of ours and told the neighbor that um, he liked this girl to be cold. And he never came and told her mother and dad started the ball rolling. So after so then time when they got married and after, so after many years, Lala came to visit me in my business place in San Francisco. And um, I remember he told me, he said, um, he said, you know, when I come to Jenny, he said, um, I might not be rich financially. But boy, I have a very good wife and beautiful children. And that is my wishes. And I will always remember that, you know, whenever Lala speak, he speak from the heart. And when he said that, he made me so proud indeed. So you know that I have five beautiful sisters. Sorry that. Two of them passed on, but two of them in that too well. Doris couldn't be here. I don't know if but I'm here because I think uh, but we, we grew up smaller and I went to town for wherever my big brother is, may God bless his soul. He just hold on to that family and today all of us are pretty well out. So I want to thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. I want to say to Patty again, may God bless you and may God keep you and may God shine shower his countenance upon you and give you peace to enjoy yourself, with your family and your friends. Thank you very much. And Dolly, I'm going to travel in our next to Hug around, please. Okay. I have to put a
I guess I'm going to add from where Uncle Ram left off to a point. Um, so, uh, no, again, I really want to thank everyone for coming out to, to celebrate this night with us. Um, tonight, you know, we celebrate the 80th birthday of an amazing person. You know, we call her mom, and I know that everyone here, in whatever relationship that you are to, to mom, you know, will attest to the fact that she is an amazing individual that has touched our lives in one way or the other. You know, I'm sure that, you know, Daddy would have loved, you know, to be here tonight to, to celebrate this, this wonderful day you know, with Ma. Um, to really understand Ma, you know, you have to understand that, re you know, that relationship that my, my parents had. And just as a bit of history, I mean, Uncle Ram, you know, has more in-depth details to it. But <laughs> what I have here, you know, just as a bit of history to help them understand the type of person who you know, my mother was, is, you know, you need to give a brief description of, you know, of that. You know, Daddy grew up in this small village of um, Hindustan, you know, and um, in his working days with, with Kareem, you know, he, he saw, again, just to add a number of this beautiful young lady at the Lama Mohesh shop in Tower Trace, which is, you know, still running. And after, you know, that first glance that, that, that he had at Ma, you know, uh, he was stuck. And uh, all efforts that he made, I even, you know, he used to listen when, when Daddy and Uncle Landman was talking, you know, his stories and that they used to, you know, they, all the efforts that they made, and as Uncle Ram said, the excuses that they, 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 they made to go to the shop, to, to see you know, it's, it's, uh, it's an attest, you know, to, you know, that, that relationship, how it all started. And then, of course, uh, after that, they got married and, you know, they had a family. Um, you know, fast forwarding, you know, to, to you know, our little family, you know, we, you know, we had four girls, we had sisters, which, you know, I have a called sister, which is Merlin. We have Shirley, we have Devika, who is not here tonight. Um, due to circumstances beyond her control, but she sends her love, her affection, her appreciation, all words that reflects what Ma is to us. And of course, we know. <laughs> you know, I, I'm really glad that the they made a decision not to stop with me. If they did, I would not have been here. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm glad that they added that one person, which is me. And again, I thank, I thank them for that. For, I thank Ma for bringing me into this world. Words can't express that gratitude that, that we have. You tell Ma to sit down, you know, relax now. No, she, she can't do that. She always on the go. And, and she's a person who will sacrifice everything for her family and her friends. And, you know, just a last, you know, just a short history. She made it 14 years that I left Trinidad. And before I actually made that push, you know, to get get there, you know, Ma said, you know, I will go with you, son. I, I go in with you. So that's okay. That is the only blessing I need. So I made the push, and by the grace of God, I got you. But lo and behold, afterwards, 
Master, you know what? Me, I feel like going there, no? I will stay right here. I mean, it shows the, the type of person that she is. She sacrificed her own self to, for her family. Because she know if she didn't tell me she going, I wasn't going nowhere, sitting right here. But she sacrificed her own happiness for, for me. And again, words can't, can't express that. You know, um, again, that is love and sacrifice of a mother. You know, I, I want to thank, you know, my second mother, sister. <laughs> my third mother, Sherlyn. Good, good. You know, my fourth mother, Devika, who is not here. Lord. My fifth mother, <laughs> Vina. Because man, man, when I was a child, I, I they were there, man, there, protected me, me in everything. And I really want to thank them. And again, it shows, it shows, you know. I guess I'm taking kind of long, but again, it it shows the kind of person that she is and what she instilled in her daughters. To show that kind of love and affection as as a family, you know, I wanted to thank you know on behalf of my wife Bashti, who is not here, my kids Sanjay and Shesh. I also really want to thank my nephews Keshi, Ponit, Keshava, Shiva, you know, my nieces Nandi, Ashti. And all of the, all of the grandkids, grandkids, great grandkids, you know, for, for, for picking, up picking up the slack, slack for me not being here. here. Because, because, because when dad was when ailing, dad was he, he told, told me, me when he was feeling his health, health never leave never your mother undone. undone. And all of all these of individuals, individuals, including all of you, have picked up the slack that way. I can't pull that slack when I'm not here. So nobody leaves my mother undone. Nobody. She always have that support when I'm not here. And I thank each and every one of you for that. Well, Again, Again, attest, attest to, the to the kind of person that, person that, 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 you, that you are. You are. Every, every single, single grandchild, grandchild, every single great grandchild, grandchild you have that touch, touch, touch in, in rearing them, them and bringing them up, bring them up to make them, make them make sure that, make sure that they're, okay. they're okay. You know, I'm going to cut it short. But you know what? At the end of the day, you are the most amazing person on the face of this earth. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for being who you are. And I want to wish you a, a, an amazing 80th birthday and many, many more years to come that God wishes upon our family. Again, thanks to everyone and ma, happy birthday. Malatari Sugandini, Malatiat, Nivetrabu, Maya Hitara, Pujaratam, Pushpani Pratigreta, Mangalam Bhagwan Vishnu, Mangalam Gardat Puja, Mangalam Pundari Kaksa, Mangalaita Nohari. Prem Subloma Pati Mahadeva Ki. All right, so we're going to play something just now. So let me just give on courage. You know, they tell you, whilst we're setting up to do a poem, 
they tell you that the people you grow, you grow up with is the people who project you in life, right? All our satsang, they tell you the mother you come from, that womb and the training that is indicative is a stepping stone for where you will go. Think about the lady, you know, in all she discipline and all she training and all she everything that make you who you is. What would you be without your mother? Since we were small, every year Ma would have prayers and we used to go and you know, it had a, you know, a long time people had a prayer sheet that used to only come out for that time. You know, you grow up knowing you cannot cover with that sheet. That was off limits. You had a particular blanket. You had all these things. And those are the memories that I hold. But one thing I, 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 I glad we could celebrate your birthday today. When I was going to get married, I don't think I ever bust this file. Thank God, my grandmother is one of the coolest people I know. When it is time to sit down to talk about which girl and where's the plan and where I'm going or whatever, my mother would not understand. My mother would be the person to say, no, Franco, no. But my grandmother, I could get away with murder. <laughs> so for, the, for the, how I asked prayer to get married on Mardi Day, I put it ring, I buy the ring, I put it in a box, you know, and we do we was doing puja. I do any prayers and she sitting down for the prayers. And when it's done, you know, you get panchamered parcel and here look something. That was the proposal. Terrence, it was a risk. It was a risk. But I had my grandmother blessing. She said, Yeah, she is is it that she said yes, so she said no show. Sure. Most gonna have me again, but <laughs> Ma always teach me from example. I remember Bodhani Tanti, Big Tanti, Tanti Moon. I, I went Presbyterian number one. And one of the memories, Ramesh, I have a young mother. I used to break away from school and come up the hill in the back. And Tanti Moon always had food. I don't know where this lady used to have this. But me and I bringing about four friends with me. Tanti, we come to eat. And Uncle Sukai was out, she husband, and Tandy feeding me. And one day we bounced up by my prayers, and all I could have to do tell she had just come by. <laughs> <laughs> From that example, I always remain, especially with Indra and the kids, I always remain close. And this Samrati, who is running that same shop Uncle Ram talked about, and we grew up with that love to keep we family together. By the grace of God, today she celebrated eight years, and Uncle Ram and Auntie Dolly, she could still touch all her feet and get blessing. Not many people could say that. Life, according to our text, after a while starts, just as when a young life gives you, after a while life will start to take it back. And the fact that she could still have not one, but two brothers still going, it is a blessing. Tonight, as we celebrate, and everybody who here, we want to take a little pity with you because of who you are, people like Taran. I always remember how George and Ma would, you know, since we were small growing up, the way they looked to you and they looked to you like a son. Please, before you leave Tara, let me get a picture with you, with Ma, and everybody else. All I could say is, before you lose somebody, learn to appreciate. That is all, that is it. I'm sorry if I'm going over time, bear with me. My aunt in England couldn't really come, but she wanted to say something for Ma. The girl who couldn't be here today, she sent a poem for you. And it goes like this. A happy birthday, dear mommy, for today. I wish you joy and laughter every day. Eighty years ago, born in the land where, where the picture grows, I hope you are always happy and healthy, where love surrounds you are wealthy. When I was 16, I remember a blue three-step dress you made for me. It was the best thing since biscuit and tea. May God bless you always this day as you celebrate your birthday. You give, you give, you love, you love. You care, you care. A happy birthday, dear mommy, today and with love every day. So that's from David. Let's all stand as we do final RT. Ajam Javardi San Yuktam Grahina Yojitam Mayam Deepam Grahana Devesham 
ट्रेलो क्या मेरा आप हम ओ सुनो मेरी देवी डेयर दुर्गा माता थैंक यू फॉर माय ग्रैंड मदर Thank you from the bottom of my heart and everybody gathered together for opportunity to worship Lord Shiva. Without you, this prayer couldn't be possible. Please continue to share your energy with all your children. Bless us and protect us from seen and unseen danger, dear mother. Oh, suno meri devi parvat vasini tera paran paya tera paran paya. सुनो मेरी देवी पर्वत वासिनी तेरा पारण पाया तेरा पारण पाया सुनो सुनो मेरी देवी पर्वत वासिनी तेरा पारण पाया तेरा पारण पाया Manavanchit palapaya, manavanchit 
Put your hands together. Om Har 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 Mahadev. Bola Bola Bham Bola. Bola Bola Bham Bola. Shiva Shiva Ratri Bham Bola. Shivaratri Bambola Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Hari Om Namah Shivaya Mare Baba, thank you for tonight. And as we all journey to our respective homes, Lord Shiva, go with us. Guide us and bless those cars. Bless the roadways to allow each and every person to reach home safely. Bless those that will partake of Prasad and Mahabodhan and give them the darshan as if they did this prayer themselves. For those that are not here and looking on at home, God bless you for listening, listening about God's prayer. And that brings, a, it yields a lot of blessings in an individual's life. Dear Lord, give us the health and the strength to do what we must. And give me the ability to do it. Give me the permission to do it. Dear Lord, together with one voice, everybody. Final prata, final prayer. To a mata. Dear God, bless me with peace, please. Dear God, regenerate the peace in my life, in my body, in my home, please. Look after the work, the job, the finance, please. Bless me with that peace of mind. Om Shanti, 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 Hari Om. Together, Om Apati Mahadeva Ki. Pavana Patra Nuwana Ki Shri Adha Shakti Mata Ki Vindravan Bihari Lala Ki Satya Sanatan Dharma Ki Jai 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 Sit down everybody Please have your seat